Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and let's keep playing Cubivore. Yes, it isn't over, isn't it, Steve? Once we have completed the game, we now have the option to redo the levels. In other words, the laps. Yes, that's what this game calls them, laps. We can even do the boss uh, run. So let's start off again as Piggy Tiro. The fifth day. And here we go. You notice something slightly different. Yes. We now have a detailed textured head. This is the bonus we get if we actually complete a hundred mutations before finishing the game the first time. And for those of you who think about going out and buying this game, um, realize that you have just seen the entire game. So it's, um, comparative to modern games, it's rather short. Of course, it is a great game, it's worth purchasing it, because it is rather fun, but as you can see, the content has already been covered. All there is left to do is finish the 150 mutations. And how do we do this? By redoing the laps, because now things have changed ever so slightly. But thankfully not this horse. I wonder, do I get more if I go outside the line? Sumo Saki. Sumo Saki. If I can do eject. There we go. I've completed my training. Yay! Because we still have capabilities of leveling up. We still have one horn to get, the other scar to get, and the larger hump and tongue and all that good stuff. Dee dee dee. Cause see here, look, another bonus area. And what's this? It's a Clash Purple. That wasn't here before. Yes. Hey, no. Get over here. Oh, you jerk. There we go. Don't want to enter in yet. And back to our normal pig squeak. Delicious meat. So yes, the levels are exactly the same except we now have occasional rage and clash beasts and also certain areas have new bonus stages, such as this. Whee! So now we just basically redo everything as much as we want until we become, you know, get all the mutations. And here's the meat maze. Great, we're on to sailor jokes now. And I guess that's a step up from cowboy. And then what's after that? Detective? Or soldier? Five minutes, that's really short. Yes, don't get eaten, blah blah blah. And here we are. In the meat maze. And yes, it's a maze. Amazing. This is easily circumvented by using the camera up feature. And I already have a map of this place, so it's going to be rather easy. Yes, I know it's a bit cheating, but all's fair in love and war and cubes, I guess. Nope. Oh, wait. Ah, there we are. I have to orient myself properly. Because we only have five minutes. And here we have a three limb which I can't eat. So yes, they still throw in the occasional Grey Adon-esque monsters to make things difficult for us. Yes. And yet again, I'm having a hard time because these are two limbs and they are rage. Even though I am Clash, they are still rather strong for my character. No, come on. Hey, I didn't want to eat that. I want to eat you. Yes, must go for back attacks for maximum damage. Don't try to run away from me. I'll catch you, sucker. Where do you go? Ah. I'm the one that's supposed to be running away. Oh, great. Well, at least he's in a corner. There we go. And now that blue Odon is all... Not blue Odon. Blue Ocite. It's all the way in a weird corner. And I can't run to get him. Come on. 
Take it like a cube. Don't act. That's a pyramid talk you're doing. Come on. It'll only hurt a lot. <laughs> Come on. Now eat you, you nasty, disgusting bird. Birds! Rage red. I grow ever stronger. Yes, incredible meat. Zoinks. Back with the alliterations. Where should they the onomatopoeia? Poeia? Oh, yes. Six damage for back attack. And strangely, this purpio looks like a leosite. He has a little frog hop style. Ooh, eight damage. Excellent. And no, I didn't want to eat that. I want to eat you. And how come I'm not getting good camera fade back in? I am highly disappointed. Hey. You can't escape. There we go. Squeal, little monkey. I want to touch you in the wrong way. And I'm not keeping track of my time. Time in the maze, not time of recording. Ah, yes. And now we shall go for the very prime prize in this maze. The Ken. Because Ken is stronger than Ryu. No, I joke. I kid. Don't hurt me, please. Yes, Ken, the first of the Grey Adams. With its licorice flavor. Thankfully, there's no Akuma or Ryu to worry about. And if they were there, I wonder what colors they would be. Ooh, excellent. Squeal! Kinda odd. First it's meowing, and then it's going... Weird. Sounds like a dying giraffe. And now we're Ben. Benny! Even though we're very slow. Now to go back and take it rather easy. I guess I will explain another feature while I'm here. Like most games in the SNES era, you're hardly able to exit the stage. And in this case, exiting will save the game and take us back to the land, the lap selection so we can restart as Chicky, Piggy, Tira, or Grizzly rather easily. And I can't find that blue site, so I guess we'll go for the others. Oh, go bark yourself. And this is a rather useful feature because sometimes you just don't want to do the entire level. Like here, the meat maze. I'm not going to get all the limbs, because, but since this is stage one, and right off the bat, I can just uh, collect all the rage colors. Lickety split. Uh, squeal, froggy. Let's see. Now, where do I have to mosey? I have to mosey all the way around the maze. Can I go faster? Faster if I hops. Mad hops. Mad skills. Mad dogs. No, run away. And we bounce and leap and turn and press and jump and going on. And did this joke. But, no I didn't do this joke. I'm just starting the game. I'm Piggy Tiro. What are you guys think talking about? And look at that pounce. True ultimate mad hops. Eat, eat, eat. And drat, I only need one more to go. I guess I'll get it next time. Come on, race to the finish. Come on. Oh, so close. No, come on. Time is on my side. Oh, I got it. Excellent. For the win. Yay, I completed the meat maze and in the nick of time. Okay, take me back, mysterious light. And I will call this a video. So, until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya!